Ooh, mm, this smells like coconut. Oh my God, that smells so good. I'm so paranoid guys right now <laughs> to be filming because the other day I filmed like a wicked long one hour like get ready with me <laughs> and then the file got corrupted and I was just like Ugh. but alas I am so excited to be here today just to do a chit chat get ready with me I went to CVS the other day and I have not just like gone to the drugstore and pondered around to see what was new in like a really long time and I ended up getting so much so we're gonna do a full face of new drugstore makeup that I just bought at CVS. I actually brought you guys shopping with me to CVS on my vlog channel. If that's not up yet, it should be up soon. I will have my vlog channel linked below. This is one of those shirts where like the straps always just go like this. Yeah, oh wow, freedom. <sighs> freedom, get comfortable y'all, get comfortable. Sipping on some bub. Mm. What's your favorite bubbly flavor if you have one? Mine is definitely cherry, okay. So, I have I have everything laid out in front of me. I unboxed most of it so we don't have to spend too much time rustling through boxes. Uh, so first, we are going to be using a new brand product. I don't know how long this brand has been around, but I have never tried them. This is my first time seeing them at CVS. It's from a brand called Joa, like Noah, but with a J. And I got several of their products, so I'm excited to try them. Uh, everything is of course super affordable because it's drugstore. I'll link it below if you want to just order it online, but let's go ahead and hop into the makeup. First up, we've got this pore deactivator, which is infused with tea tree extract. It's pore minimizing and mattifying. I like this packaging, it's super cute. Ooh, it is clear. It's clear. It looks like silicone-y. Ooh. Feels kind of like the Hydro Grip from Milk. Kinda. It's actually, it's once that you kind of move it into the skin, it's not so much sticky, just like smoothing like that silicone feel. It's definitely pore filling. Like, it's one of those. One of those, but I like the way it feels. It feels nice. I'm very excited to try out this foundation. If you have been watching me for a long time, you know that I Door, the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, the original, but they have one for dry skin and one for oily. The oily combination one is just like the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. It's such a great dupe. I've loved it for years. They came out with a Color Stay Full Cover Foundation, and it's supposed to be matte, 24 hour wear. Ugh, I am hyped to try this out just because I am like a Color Stay fanatic. I'm gonna throw my hair up. People who can do their makeup with their hair down, <laughs> y'all run the world, okay? All right, so I am trying this in the shade 330 because I have on self tanner right now and I was glad I could go and pick out my color because you just, you just never know what shade I'm gonna be with self tanner. So I've got my beauty blender, nice and damp. And of course, this is like the formula I expected, like super thick, like a cream. I can just tell by like the packaging, <laughs> the matte formula but alas, okay, looks like it's gonna be a good color to blend in with my tan. I don't have tanner on my face, but we're trying to match to our neck and chest. Oh, there's that coverage, honey. Oh, my Lanta. Whew, this is beautiful. You know what this, ooh, you know what? This is giving me tart Amazonian clay energy. Oh my God, that was one of the first like full coverage kind of cream foundations that I ever used when I was younger and like really getting into makeup. And this is totally the same vibe. And it might be like a great dupe because, you know, Tarte is not cheap. This is blending out so seamlessly. The coverage on this is super full and beautiful. It's definitely matte, I can tell. Uh, you know, that it will probably dry down a bit. I am super oily, so you know, I don't know how this would go if your skin was dry. My dry patches from the winter have pretty much gone away. So I, I normally could tell you if it kind of clings to a dry patch, but it's uh, <laughs> looking really pretty. All right, there's the foundation. 
I would give that a 10 out of 10. Of course, it all depends. How's it gonna wear? Oh, I didn't take off the wrapping on my concealer. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know in a pinned comment how this foundation wears because I really liked the last one that we reviewed, the KVD Good Apple, but then it got really creasy and settled into all my crevices. <laughs> I think that would have been better for like dry skin, but. So bear with me on this concealer. I honestly feel like I've never used it, but part of me feels like maybe I have. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. Just a pretty little concealer. I don't know, have I used this? I don't think I have, but we're just gonna do a little bit of highlighting. It's a little light, but you know what, that's okay. It just means we're gonna be snatched, right? And once I have that all blended out, I'm gonna use another thing from Joa, Joa, the Selfie Ready Setting Powder in translucent. Their products say they're inspired by K-Beauty on them. So if you guys have any more info about this brand, definitely let me know because I am curious. And as I said, we've got, we've got more to try from them coming up. Ooh, can I just take this out? Oh, just powder. I like that. <laughs> I like to just dip in for baking. So let's go ahead and see how this concealer is because I have become a Super fan, honestly, of Makeup Revolution. Their products are so bomb. Like the highlighter I use super often and I am so late to this bandwagon. It's just not even fair. <laughs> I blend it out super seamlessly. And even though it's a little bright, like it still looks really nice, you know? This is labeled as a full coverage, but like I'm kind of getting more medium vibes. I don't know. Side note, this foundation is definitely drying down to look a bit more matte, but it is light on the skin. It's not feeling heavy or uncomfortable. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit more of this concealer because I actually feel like it kind of sheared out a little bit when I was uh, blending it out and I wanna go a little bit brighter. It does layer really beautifully. Actually, it's really nice. That's really beautiful. I like this formula. I like it a lot. I am having the worst time with foundation creasing in my little side nose parts. <laughs> I have tried, I always blend them, but I've tried like baking them. I've tried it all, all that I really can. And I just can't help it. You know what? It's just something about me and that's okay. All right, let's see how this selfie ready translucent powder is from Joa. I'm probably saying it wrong. It's probably like Joa, something like pretty. <laughs> I'm like Joa. <laughs> um, okay, this is nice. It's a fine powder, it's not heavy. Like, I don't know if baking with it was like the wrong thing to do, but this is what we're here for. We're testing things out. Okay, so I am just gonna throw a tiny bit of that powder on my forehead so we can just get that set and out of the way to move on to our eyebrows. So in the last video that I filmed that didn't finish. Um, I tested for the first time this NYX, I almost said blow glue instead of brow glue. Uh, so this is what it looks like here. It's really nice. I really did enjoy it. It's supposed to be similar to um, the Anastasia Brow Freeze, like a drugstore dupe for that. I do like that it comes with a small little spoolie. I would definitely say it's not as strong as the Anastasia Brow Freeze, but um, it's kind of between that and a normal brow gel. And it does work very well. And I don't really, I'm go, I go through phases with my brows. I've been kind of moving out of the soap brow phase for right now, um, where I, I like them a little bit more uniform. I mean, some days I'll still go more like fluffy, but I really just have been using this now to hold the brow hairs in place for the day because they can get a little bit unruly. And then I also have another product from NYX called Lift and Snatch, <laughs> yes, bend and snap. Um, so this is in ash brown, it's a brow tint pen and you can do like hair like strokes so it looks like, um, you know, microblading. So I'm all about that. Believe it or not, I have never used one of these like brow pens where you can make the little brow hairs, you know? I have never ever done that, which is surprising. All right, let's just, Ooh, let's just give it a go. That's not ash brown, that's 
dark brown. Um, okay. Because I really like, I like the kind of natural looking brow, but then I like to like clean it up and make it more uniform. Like, I love a combo. Love a combo deal. Two for five. I do like that I can actually pencil in other parts too. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? Um, it's pretty quick to use. I'm just gonna take a little concealer to clean up. The issue for me is I'm thinking maybe you have to use this before you do um, like your foundation because it's losing a lot of its power. Like when I like swipe it on my hand, it hardly, it hardly shows up at this point. Um, and I think maybe like applying it on top of foundation is like messing up the flow of it. Uh, you guys will have to let me know because overall I don't hate the way that the brow looks. Like I do like the little brow hair strokes you can make, but like I can also just do that with a pencil. Anyway, we tried it, but hey, this is what we do. It's fun to try new things. So now that my brows are done, I like to match my brows to my roots and my roots are actually pretty dark. So I feel like my brows look extra intense, but I kind of love it. Let's see how that baking powder worked out. Ooh, okay. Wow, that gave like a really pretty like set and blur almost without making my under eyes look dry. I like it. I'm just gonna set my lids with some translucent powder so I don't crease. All right, and I'm just gonna also take a little bit more of that translucent powder and just Set the rest of my face. This powder is really nice. I'm kind of getting a vibe that we discovered a gem with the Joa Cosmetics. Like it definitely gives a really pretty set. It has a little bit of a blurring power, which I really like. All right, moving on to the rest of our skin. For bronzer, I'm gonna be using a super popular product, the Physician's Formula butter products. It's in matte sunkissed and it looks really beautiful. I remember when I was younger, I tried the um, Physicians Formula butter blush, but I don't think I have ever tried the bronzer. So let's go ahead and see how it is. It doesn't look like it's super dark. Ooh, mm, this smells like coconut. Oh my God, that smells so good. Okay, this is beautiful. The drugstore game! I'm telling you, it's crazy like how much the drugstore has step up their game. I mean, some of these brands have always been killing it, but like lately, I just feel like they are all crushing. This bronzer is so gorge. It's just like the perfect warm up your skin. And I just cannot believe how good it smells. Now I've got a new blush that I've never tried from one of my favorite drugstore brands, NYX. This is the Sweet Cheeks Matte Creamy Powder Blush. So I love the sound of that because I cannot do cream blushes. I just feel like they always come out patchy on me and like I have to set with powder or I'll look shiny because I'm so oily. It's just like, ugh. so the idea of a creamy powder just sounded really good to me. This is in the shade Summer Breeze. So I thought it was kind of a vibe. So we're going into the warmer months. It's funny because like it looks a little dark here, but it's more of like, it's like a peachy mauve. It's got great pigmentation to it. Like you don't need to use a lot of it because you guys know I can have a heavy hand with my blush. So just one little bit goes a long way. I love it. All right, we have another product from Joa. It is the Crystal Glow Jelly Balm. Oh, side note, this does not feel creamy. It feels like a normal blush, but it looks beautiful. This is the Crystal Glow Jelly Balm Highlighter in number two. Oh, hey, it's from a Kiss brand. Cause it says Joa on the front and then on the back it says Kiss. <gasps> Must be under them or something, I don't know. Okay, but look at this. Oh my, <laughs> are you kidding? Are you kidding me? I am hyped out of my mind to try this. Okay. Ooh. Oh yes. I'm like just trying to pop the cheek for you. Mm. Mm so beautiful oh yes I am always on the hunt for a good drugstore highlighter because I feel like there are just not that many like there's a few great ones like wet and wild but there's not a ton of option and this whew, oh my god catch me out in 
outer space. And then we're gonna follow up with the Joa Crystal Glow Refreshing Luminizer Mist. So I think I mentioned this in the vlog where I bought it, but it's got hyaluronic acid and that is one of the main products in my favorite current setting spray, the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. That one has a coconut oil, not coconut oil, coconut water, aloe vera, and hyaluronic acid, and it's very hydrating, and it melts all your powders together, just chef's kiss beautifully. So I'm hoping that this will kind of give me a similar vibe. It has a luxurious creamy mist for long lasting hydration, hydration um, for a lit from within radiance. And I think that's all kind of what we want, that lit from within glow, like, oh, She's happy. Shake well, spritz it six inches from your eyes. I hope, I hope, cause like right now I just, <laughs> I love this base we've got going on. I hope that this gives me luminosity and not sparkle. <laughs> so let's see. Mmm, smells like I'm walking through a Macy's like department store with the perfume, it smells delicious. Mm-hmm. It probably seems like I just put so much on, but this is extremely fine. Like hardly anything goes on, but I prefer it that way where it's not just like you're just drowning. Let's put a little bit on the old decolletage. <laughs> See if it gives us a little glow. Um, let's let it dry down for a second. I didn't put a ton, but like it's a little bit wet still. But from what I can see in my mirror so far, I don't see shimmer. So God bless. Um, and it feels really nice on the skin. Like I said, it smells really good, which I can be a little bit weary about. I'm like, why does it smell so good? What's in here? But um, overall, I think I like it. Yeah, I think I like it a lot. Okay, anyway, moving on. Let's go ahead, let that sit in for a minute. And what do you know, another product from this brand. Uh, this is the Escapade Palette in Amazonian. These colors are beautiful. They're very much my style. Um, I love little palettes like this, especially for travel. Not that I'm currently traveling, but I think this would be perfect for um, when you wanna pack just like a one small palette situation and, you know, use these colors. So you already know, I have some of that concealer on my lids. I'm just using that as the eyelid primer. I'm gonna start out with this taupey camel color. There is a bit of kickback um, on these shadows when you touch them. But let's see how the pigment is. You guys know me. I love to put a brown matte in my crease. Always. So I'm just starting off with like a circle shape. It's blending pretty well. I feel like when I blended it, it did lose some of its pigment. Like it kind of almost like brushed off. But I can still see it. It does still look pretty. It's pretty creamy. It's not too powdery. It's pretty comfortable. To blend like see when I first apply this one how it's more pigmented than here when I blended that one out but they do blend well I will say that so I just threw down that to start us off oh that's just like my favorite I just want to leave it like that but I know that's not enough for the YouTubes um okay <laughs> now I want to do like an ombre from this silvery not silvery shimmery kind of mustard color into this shimmery rust color. So I'm just gonna grab a eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna start with the yellowy color and I'm just going, ooh, <gasps> okay, okay, pigment. Oh, that's a nice shimmer. That's a very nice shimmer. Okay, wow. All right, pop off. This might be a new contender of my favorite drugstore brands that's like you just do one swipe and it's just like pigment and I feel like usually with shimmery shadows you got to kind of layer them or apply them with your finger to get the best you know amount of color payoff but with this one you do not have to do that all right now I am dipping into that rust color I don't feel like it's as good as the yellow why is that oh well when the light hits it's popping I think that's what it is I'm gonna dip into this reddish brown matte and I'm gonna just deepen up the outer V after that rust color. This is such a pretty palette for like a warm, smoky eye. Ooh, actually these are blending really beautifully. They really are. And I'm just taking another brush and softening 
the edges. Okay, I am also going to take some of this highlighter that we used and apply it to my inner corners just because it is, ooh, chef's kiss. And I'm also gonna just take some down the bridge of my nose on my brow bone and a little bit on the cupid's bow. All right, I am also just going to take a little bit of the crease shade and just lightly go along my bottom outer lash line just from like the middle out. I like to keep my eyes looking bigger by focusing, you know, the darker colors outward and blend. And then on top of it, taking the reddish dark brown on the very outer lash line on the bottom. Love this eyeshadow and I'm still swooning over uh, that foundation. I'm totally still loving it. I shouldn't have put highlighter on my forehead. Like that's what my grease already does, right? Okay, now I have a new mascara that just like really appealed to me for some reason. Um, the packaging, <laughs> way to go to their marketing team. The Air Volume Mega Mascara. Mega Volume. <laughs> If you know, you know, Drugstore Mascara has been the OG running the game from the start all the way back to when we were using that little pink and green bottle from Maybelline, right? My mom put me onto that, God bless. Okay, so we've got a chunky yet spiky brush, but the packaging, she's cute. She's matte on the top, shiny on the bottom. She's interesting. <laughs> I can tell you in the first three or to four seconds if I'm gonna like a mascara. Oh, I'll get, look at my nose crease. Ugh, every day, every day. Yeah, this mascara is okay. It's okay. It's it's the good, it's not bad. It's by far not bad. Is it my favorite? No, I think the brush is just a little too thick for me to enjoy. Like I feel like I could really easily mess up my lashes, but uh, it's not bad, it's okay. Like I would buy this if I had a coupon and I typically wear false lashes when I do my makeup for the most part. So it just kind of throws down a little bit of a base for me. You know, I'm trying to think like, can I work them up a little bit? I think if you layered, they could be pretty, you know, pretty good. I feel like that with most mascaras though, like if you really put the work in and this kind of just feels like one that I'm gonna have to like put some work in, but it's not bad. I'm gonna give that like a solid seven. Okay, lashes, we've got some of my favorites. Ardell Demi Wispies, so beautiful. If you guys have not tried the Ardell Wispies or Demi Wispies yet, they're the best. I feel like every time I go to Target or the drugstore, I feel like I just always pick up Demi Wispies or Wispies every time. Guys, I have to say, like all I smell is that setting mist. And I'm like, it genuinely smells like perfume. Like it smells really good. I'm not shading it at all, but like it's lingering. It's like a, <laughs> it's a built-in perfume when you're doing your makeup. So I am just throwing these on with some duo dark toned lash glue. I like my lashes to get very tacky before I put them on the lid. I am very excited for uh, the lipstick we're gonna use today because I had used it in the last video that didn't get up and it is so amazing. It's also from Revlon, Revlon, Revlon <laughs> Colors Day. It's their satin ink. So I actually ended up wearing this on Easter and it is so beautiful. The shade is called Your Go-To Number 001. It's the perfect nude color and it's so comfortable. Like I'm telling you, if you're gonna go to the drugstore and you're just, you don't know where to start, Revlon, all the color stay products. Like none have let me down thus far. Um, it was a very comfortable formula. Like it has the longevity lasting power of like a Kylie liquid lip, but way more comfortable. It's not matte and drying and crackly and it lasted all day. It just, ugh, it looked so good. I love these lashes too, because they have the Invisiband, so they blend super nicely on your lid. I like to drop down in the center, and when they're tacky, like wherever you place it, the lash will just sit. You don't have to worry about it sliding around. That's why it's so important to let them get tacky. And then I first take the outer corner, which I did, and just kind of connected it to where I want it, and then I do the inner corner. And like, because it's tacky, it's gonna sit there. You can let it dry even longer, and then I just pinch it together to make sure it is sitting as close to my lash line as possible. If you are also addicted 
to TikTok, comment below the current TikTok song that is stuck in your head because I know if you're a TikTok fanatic, I know you've also got one stuck in your head right now. And all I hear in my head right now over and over is, hi, my name's Dochi with two eyes. I feel anxious when I'm high. Like the, that's all, <laughs> that's all I hear. That's all I hear. Like, aren't these lashes just so beautiful? Like they're just enough. Not too much, just enough. Um, all right, now let's go ahead and finish off with the lips. So I bought a um, Colorstay lip liner to go with this. I don't believe I've ever tried the Revlon Colorstay lip liners. I got this in the shade Natural, and I like that it is retractable because I feel like I'm constantly, <laughs> constantly sharpening my lip and eyeliners. All right, so I had a little bit of a feeling maybe this one was gonna be too light, but the next darkest nude looked like really dark. So, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this is like, this is kind of like blending into my skin. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. It looks pretty like on its own, just kind of like blended into the lip. Anyway, let's try the Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink. It's oh, so good. Mm. They called it your go-to for a reason because it's just like the perfect everyday nude. So it's interesting because it will kind of dry down to like an almost matte, like just the perfect satin finish of like a natural in-between. Um, as you can see, when I first put it on, it goes on more taupey nude, and I always feel like after a few minutes, it kind of turns to more of a slightly rosy nude. I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but in person, it's got a teeny weeny bit of rose undertone to it. It's just ugh, it's the perfect color. It looks good with everything. Um, the skin is still looking good. As you can see, though, definitely creasing in my little nose creases, but that is something that I struggle with with all foundation and primer. Um, the foundation is, it is so beautiful. Like honestly, um, I think the only product that I didn't superly love was the eyebrow little like pencil thing. That lip liner formula was good. It's just not the right color for this look, unfortunately. But like overall, this was an amazing, I mean, the, mas the mascara was okay, it was okay. But overall, I feel like this was a really good drugstore, like new set of makeup. Um, I haven't done like a full face of new drugstore makeup in a hot minute and like this is extremely impressive. Uh, I'm gonna be shopping at the drugstore so much more. You do not have to spend a ton of money to like look snatched. <laughs> so again, I'll link everything if you guys want to shop the items and you don't wanna have to like go try to find them at the store. Um, but thank you for hanging out with me today. I am so glad that you came and hung out. If you made it to the end, comment, hi, my name's Dochi with two eyes, and then I'll know that you made it. <laughs> um, don't forget to subscribe. I again will link my vlog channel in the description box. And yeah, I will see you guys in another video very soon. Happy spring. Stay safe. You are beautiful. Bye.